the second lot of birthday plants I bought. You know, I finally got around to recording this video. G'day to all you lovely people and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kathy, and today I am finally, finally going to show you the other plants I bought for my birthday, which was at the end of April. I know it's been a while. I actually did record a video with the unboxing. However, none of it came out. For some reason, the whole video was unfocused and I couldn't use it. Not to worry. I did take a bit of footage at the time, so I'll show you what they look like when I got them, as well as how they're doing now. I bought all these plants from Uprooted, who I have bought from several times. What I like about Uprooted is they often have plants you can't find everywhere, and they're usually much cheaper than most plant shops that I've seen anyway, especially if you want something that is a little less common. They also pack their plants very well in cardboard boxes, which are recyclable, which I really like, and the plants are always healthy. If they die, that's on me, certainly not on them. I actually bought four, and I will start off with the first, which is a begonia. It is called begonia, <laughs> belief, bee leaf, Maori haze. They had so many beautiful begonias. It was hard to choose, but I decided on this one because I thought it was gorgeous. And it is. I haven't had a lot of Rex begonias. I think I've only ever bought one, which I killed after a couple of weeks. It just did not like my home. And I wanted to get another and try it to see if I could keep it alive. And hallelujah, I have, yeah. Even though it has been an extremely hard winter on my plants, this one hasn't died yet, and I've had it over three months, which is very reassuring. She did, however, lose several leaves when I first got her. My understanding is begonias don't like to be shipped, so perhaps that's why. Though, I'll be honest, I thought I was going to lose it. I haven't. She's doing all right. I'm not going to say she's doing great, because she isn't, but she's a wife, and that is a big plus in my book anyway. Yeah, I think you take the wins wherever you can. Considering she is still alive during this very difficult winter, I'm really hoping she will take off in spring. Lovely plant, and I think I wouldn't mind having a few more begonias, but I want to make sure I can get the care of her right before I get any others. Next is a philodendron, philodendron subhustatum. <laughs> this one, so different from most plants. It has this amazing, really dark, coppery red on the back of its leaves. I don't have a lot of philodendrons, and I've been wanting to add a few, especially some of these bigger leafed ones. I think this one can grow quite big, though the one I got was just a small baby but it's alive and it's doing really well. And it was so reasonably priced. I think I paid $15 for this plant. Now, unlike some philodendrons, apparently the subhastatum does not like to dry out and likes humidity. So I was a bit concerned I might not be able to keep it alive, but hey, she's doing great. And honestly, her leaves are amazing. It's so funny, she's a little deceptive. When you first see her, you think, oh, you know, she's okay, nothing really fancy. And then you turn her around and you think, oh my God, that is just stunning. Everyone I've shown her to and done that trick of turning her is like amazed at the coloring on her leaves. Beautiful plant. And I have found it really easy. Humidity has been a bit of an issue in my home this winter because I've been running the heaters. Doesn't matter, she's still doing great. And she can survive in lower light and a bit higher light. I think she's a flexible plant. And I am really happy that she's doing so well. She's a stunning little beauty, if you ask me. Next is a Hoya. I think it was labelled as a Hoya Potsii, 
but Miro from Basie Plants said, no, that's not right. And I know he told me the name, but I can't remember what it is. Regardless, I'll put it on the screen for you guys. This is also an Australian native, which is another reason I wanted to add it to my collection. I always like to have Australian natives if I can. In addition, I have found Hoyas so easy to take care of that I thought I'm better off buying more Hoyas than I am Peperomias, no matter how much I love Peperomias. There are no Peperomias on this list, I should say. And I really do love the look of these leaves. They have leaves that aren't quite flat. They're slightly ridged. And I think this one might even get some colour on her leaves if I give a brighter light. I don't know yet. Regardless, she's doing really well, though when I first got her, one of the stems she had put out had browned and died off. I don't know if that was because of being in the mail or what it was. It doesn't matter. She is putting out a little bit of growth, but not a lot. Hopefully she'll put out a lot more in spring. I really love this plant though. I think it has beautiful leaves. And I think for me, one of the biggest charms about Hoyas, other than that they are easy to look after, is many of them are trailing plants. And I am in love with trailing plants. I just want more and more. <laughs> I won't deny it. Despite this browning of her stem when I first received this plant, she has not proved difficult and I am all for plants that are not difficult. Yeah, who wants a plant that you are going to constantly stress over? Not me, that's for sure. Okay, last and my favourite, I can't deny it. And it is not a peperomia, no. This is the Philodendron Splendid, which is a cross between the Melanochrysum and Verucosum. And wow, do I love this plant. She has velvety leaves. <laughs> and as you guys know, I am a leaf petter, so I just love touching her leaves. And has she proved easy for me? Now, it's only a small plant, but boy, this thing grows and grows fast and has proved so easy. And her leaves are heart-shaped. She is just stunning. I remember seeing Miro's very large splendor thinking oh my goodness i want this plant so when i saw this plant on uprooted's website i thought i have to get her she was the most expensive of the lot which was 40 dollars and yet really that is not a high price for this plant every other splendor i've seen was in the range of a hundred or more it was a little plant but look at her now this is three months growth during winter and a hard winter. So I can't even begin to imagine how well this plant is going to do when we hit spring, which is not far off. They have also that reddish tinge on the back of the leaves and the velvet. Yes, yeah, sorry. Anything with velvet and I'm sold. <laughs> Definitely. I can't wait for mine to grow big and lush like Miro's because my god <laughs> she really is a beautiful beautiful plant and considering how fast this plant grows I don't think you need to get a big one to have it grow quickly into this big lush plant well that's what I'm hoping anyway definitely my favorite and I just love that she's happy in my home and I cannot wait to see her take over my house because <laughs> she can her and the monster can compete for space and my maggie yeah my maggie as well yeah it's funny you start off with these little plants thinking okay it's going to take a while for them to grow and then years pass and you realize wow that plant is really big i think there's a lot to be said for buying small plants and growing them yourself though i'm not always successful of course I'm very curious to see just how well she'll do in the next few years. Hopefully she will grow nice and big and lush. I want to thank Uprooted for always sending me such gorgeous lush plants. I really do love buying plants from them because I know I'm always going to get good quality. And I have no hesitation in recommending them to anyone. 
I'm going to list all the plants with the prices I paid in my description box below together with uprooted details if you are interested in buying from them. But I think this is my third order from them and just like all the others I am very very happy with my order and the state of the plants when I got them. I know it's taken me a while to show you these plants but better late than never right? Well that's all I have for you guys today. Now of course I want to know which of my new plants is your favourite and have you bought any new plants? You know I would love to hear. You can put it down in the comments or you can contact me on Instagram. Thank you all so very much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then you can do the usual. You can like, comment and subscribe as it helps my channel to grow. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Bye.